Hi there, welcome to edupediaworld.com. You are watching the videos on probability. Now in this video, we will discuss some of the questions which are generally seen in the examination. So again, I am telling you, you have to watch this part of the video very carefully again. Right? So let's discuss few questions related to probability. Right? Now let's discuss the first question which is question number 1. Now, the question says that in a cricket match, a batswoman hits a boundary 6 times out of 30 balls she plays find the probability that she did not hit a boundary right now in a cricket match, let's say it's a woman cricket match and uh, sh there's a one batswoman right she hits a boundary six times out of 30 balls she plays now we need to find the probability she did not hit a boundary first of all we have to find the number of times she did not hit a boundary so let's see how we can solve this question so we need to write over here number of times right she hit a boundary is six right now over here we need to write number of balls she played we need to write like this so it is equals to 30 right now over here we have to write number of times she did not hit a boundary so which is equals to 30 minus 6 which is equals to 24 right now we need to find the probability of event or we can say the probability that she did not hit a boundary right so this will come out to be number of times she did not hit a boundary right upon number of balls she played right so which will be equals to 24 upon 30 right now if you simplify it let's say we can simplify it we can write 3 8s are 3 10 then 2 4s are 2 5 so it will come out to be 4 by 5 so this is the probability that she did not hit the ball out of the number of balls she played so this is how we have to find these type of question right now let's discuss the next question which is question number two the question says that 1500 families with two children were selected randomly randomly means there is no pattern you can select at any pattern at any choice and the following data were recorded now the number of girls in a family let's say two girls in a family and for that the number of families were found to be 475 similarly the number of girls in a family let's say one girl and the number of families found were to be 814 zero girls corresponding there are 211 families now we need to compute the probability of a family chosen at random having two girls one girl and no girl right now also we need to check also whether the sum of these probabilities is one so let's see how we can solve this question very easy question let's do this question very quickly right now first of all we need to write over here number of families is 1500 right now first part uh, says that we need to find the probability that two girls in a family right so which will be equals to number of girls right upon let's say or we can say that number of two girls we can say like this right number of two girls in families right upon total number of families right so which will come out to be now corresponding to two girls there are 475 families upon 1500 right so these are this is the probability that there are two girls in a family right now the second part is we need to find the probability that is one girl in a family so similarly we need to divide this by let's say we can write like this number of families where one girl right upon total number of families right so this will come out to be again we can write it over here it will be 814 upon 1500 right now the next part says that there is no girl so we can write it over here the probability no girl in a family right so let's say this is the third part so this this can be written as number of families 
with where no girl upon total number of families right so this will come out to be 211 upon 1500 right so this is how we can find these kind of probabilities whenever these kind of this type of question is given where the data and the corresponding frequency is given so this is how we can find the probability right now the last part says that also we need to check whether the sum of these probabilities is 1 so we need to check whether the sum is 1 right so how we can check it we need to add all the three parts probabilities right we can write it over here check right so we need to add all these probabilities let's say we add 475 upon 1500 plus 814 upon 1500 plus 211 upon 1500 right so then we need to take 1500 as LCM so we add them right now if you can see properly when you add them it will come out to be 1500 upon 1500 right so when you cancel it it will come out to be 1 so this means the probabilities of all these three events is equals to 1 so this is how we have to solve these type of question right now let's move on to the next question now the question says that three coins are tossed <coughs> simultaneously 200 times right so there are three coins they are tossed simultaneously 200 times with the following frequency of different outcomes so, so, so these were the different outcomes let's say three heads were coming out of has a frequency of 23 two heads has a frequency of 72 one head has a frequency of 77 and no head has a frequency of 28 now if the three coins are simultaneously tossed again then we need to compute the probability of two heads coming up so we need to find the probability of he two heads coming up again so it's very easy question right let's do this question quickly right so we need to find the probability two heads are coming out of three tossed coins we can write like this so this will be equals to number of times two heads coming up upon total number of times the coin is tossed right so you need to remember in probability or statistics whenever whenever we are doing the questions related to probability or statistics we need to be very careful what we are writing because it's actually what we are trying to express that's actually a probability right so you have to be very careful what we are writing what we are want to write and what we are finding there has to be exact match between them right so this will come out to be 28 we have no head 28 now we need to find the probability for two heads right so this will come out to be 72 upon 200 right so when you simplify it it will come out to be 9 by 25 so this is how we can find the probabilities for these type of questions so in the end i can say that thank you once again for watching this video on edupediaworld.com keep watching further videos have a nice day